Hi Virgo, this is a general weekly read uh, for July the 4th. Um, so we're obviously into the last six months of the year now. I have got a reading for the next six months, so you want to check that out as well. Um, but yeah, please do like, share, subscribe, really grows the channel. The reason these are already set up is I was halfway through doing the reading and my wife came back from horse riding with my son and the dog and it all went with bedlam. So I just started again. Uh, the cards are the same, by the way, I just left them set up. So let's jump into this. I've got the Five of Swords, a card of deceit, being a little bit underhand. I don't think that's you. Um, only lovely Virgos come to this channel. So I think someone's doing this to you um, and you're worried about what to do about it. You need to say something because you've got the Queen of Pentacles opposing it, which is a safe space. You know, Predator and Prey are together here. She's She's showing off all her sort of skills and ability here. So basically the card just comes in as she's a safe space so that's what i would use on this one so if someone is doing this to you you need to talk to them about it they're making work weekends or nights is it a partner who's been unreasonable so let's get that fixed near past you've got the knight of pentacles which is a card of um being ready you know which is she's literally armored up um she's got ta uh, antlers stand for stamina and tenacity She's showing off her wares again on top of this, same as the Queen. You know, the Pentacles are very good at kind of showing off what they've done. Go, look, look what I've done here. Aren't I amazing? I've even made this massive one down here with my own hands. But this arm is a little bit too much. She's a bit over-armoured. It's, it's kind of protecting yourself. And it does make you a little bit stubborn and a bit sluggish if you're not careful. So just be careful of that. The only reason I mention that is you've also got King of Swords. He's often considered heartless so much, so he's put this golden marble in his chest saying, no, no, I have got heart, but I'm just very, he's very stoic, he's very defendable, he's very my way or the highway, you know. So that's, again, great energy to have. If someone's doing something to you that isn't right, just just in the cold light of day go, that's not appropriate because this, 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 this and this. So these two cards here are, you know, you're kind of protecting yourself, you're wondering what to do about this situation, you're in a safe space, you're going to get it done. And it, it results, there's a good result down here. At the root of the matter, you know, you wanted to find the balance. So you, you're kind of thinking, are they being unreasonable? Should I work weekends? Should my partner be allowed to go out four nights a week or whatever it is? So temperance is that kind of seeing both sides of the story. You've got the yin and yang symbol here. We've got swords and flowers. So, you know, war and peace. And it is, it's about finding the balance. Maybe your partner needs to go out a lot at the moment because for whatever reason you know and then your understanding leads to a deeper relationship or they could be taking the mickey in which case you go no this isn't appropriate same with work maybe work again we've got to get this order out we're all working the weekend once we've done that we'll be able to say two days off tuesday and wednesday all recover and we'll get a bonus so that makes that underhand kind of deceitful card way way better the reason i've said that is you've got the sun card at the top and the sun card is is in your kind of head space it's like you know what's going on so it could be you go yeah i can see they're being a bit underhand and a bit deceitful but i know why they're doing it and i'm going to address it and it's all going to come out well and energy across the bottom is the three of wands which is your ships coming in and in this reading it's about being targeted and focused and going for exactly what it is that you want and you're doing it so well you're actually leading by example there are other gannets that are following your lead so they go that's a good idea let's do it that way so you've got the sun card you've got the three of wands so you've got that real kind of intensity of purpose yeah so that's really good to see and that leads to the where you are now which is the knight of swords uh, sorry the page of swords and the page of swords these brambles are trying to hold him back trying to stop him doing what he's doing or getting to the clarity that he's after so he just cuts through them just literally cuts them away like they weren't even there but by doing that it releases all these fruits and berries it releases the everyone goes oh we can see it now he was kind of talking about he was going trust me if you chop it away this will happen this is actually it happening it's, it, it's actually really happening and how other people see you is they go, wow, you're, you're really, you know, the king of cool. You know, you're just very laid back. So you've got some high vibrational energy here with kings and queens. <clears throat> so you know you're doing the right thing. I mean, he's he's got um, a squid and a school of fish swimming together, predator and prey coming together, the same as with the queen of pentacles. He's generating this crown of angel fish just out of his subconscious. And it it's literally is a laid back card. So people are just checking you out and going, wow, you're really laid back on this, aren't you? And that inspires confidence, you know, and someone is like, don't worry, I've got this. You're like, oh, sounds like you have. Hopes and fears. 
Um, hmm. Given that card there, this could be you're worried that by working in a team, you're not going to get the recognition you deserve. That's not true, you do. This card, the Three of Pentacles, is a card of, of, of being rewarded, being seen for what you can do, a card of craftsmanship. But also, in this particular reading, this pentacle's dropping seeds and soil and water and they're growing an oak tree. Oak leaves in the tarot are about knowledge. So it's about, you know, the synergy, the sort of coming together, bringing in an engineer and an architect and a builder and a mason and a, uh, an electrician and a plumber and all coming together and making a fantastic house. The only thing this talks about is it takes time. You know, you never, if you plant an oak tree tomorrow, you're not going to sit under the shade of that oak tree. Your children probably won't. Your grandchildren will. So it's a long-term thing. I'm not suggesting this is going to take three generations, whatever it is you're doing here. But it's not going to be, I did it on Monday, it was done by Wednesday. It could be Monday for the end of the month or Monday for the end of the year. So it's not forever, but it is a long-term process, this that you're going through. So I think you've got the immediacy of the swords, you know, and you go, not having that anymore it's going to change and then the thing that changes is the thing that takes the time so i think you can instigate change next week like that you know no problem at all it's just going to take longer for for that understanding of people going oh you did know what they were doing it took us a while to understand that but we get it now um and then obviously the outcome why wouldn't it be the outcome is the nine of cups which is um <clears throat> pardon me sometimes called a feast card in another reading and it's it's nine cups above a merchant who's fairly you know chubby and, and well fed and it's basically all your wishes coming true it's, it's like yeah nailed it really good um so that's again great energy to find yourself with um they've got the the food the drink the pleasures you know it's it's a card of abundance and um what's the word uh wants um what's the word taken care of yeah so everything you possibly want you get so great energy to finish the week on virgo love that so i would say yes yeah, someone's doing something you don't agree with or isn't quite right get to the bottom of it you know you're protected people go no that's a good point that you raised yeah we'll deal with that now and again just cut through the waffle i love the i love this particular card the page of swords it really is about particularly english people they can kind of tiptoe around you know the the subject and and, and not get to the nitty-gritty you know got, not get down to the 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 oh, what's the word the real nub of the matter that's what it is so it's like stop waffling just tell us exactly what it is you want to do this is what you do you step in and go in order to get to here and in order to get to here we're going to have to do this and you just do it you don't wait for a, approval so let's have a quick clarify on this and then i'm going to sign off because my wife and children are back from horse riding so it's going to get very noisy in here yeah and the reason you need to get this this in place is there's a tower moment coming in the tower is um what you've got in place at the moment what this is in place at the moment isn't going to work for anybody so these people are falling out of this tower because it was built without a door they couldn't get out so they thought, oh, I've got a fantastic building and we live our fantastic life. There's a crown, so it's going to affect anybody. Nobody is um, free of this happening. So when a tower moment comes in, it's cathartic, it's brutal, it's an earthquake. It just levels the ground so we can start again. It's literally like a, a storm going through your vegetable plot. Everything gets flattened. Pick up the veggies you can still rescue and then replant the crops and just put up some wind baffles so it doesn't happen again. Uh, justice. I'm, I'm, the reason I paused is she's come up a couple of times, but not today. Um, she's actually um, the Queen of Swords. Is the Justice in the Minor Arcana as well? So the Queen here, yeah, she can't be swayed. You know, you can't plead with it in the cold light of day. She's going to go. Did you do the right thing or not? Did you stand up to this bully? Did you stand up to this tyrant? Did you find a better way of doing something? And then you know she'll she'll balance it out and she'll meet her out mercy or punishment um so yeah you're on the right path you're doing the right thing yep <clears throat> and this isn't a relationship one this one this card the lovers this is about you finding your higher self sometimes people go it, it is a relationship it's two people it could be the business thing so it could be this person here i'm actually seeing this as you leveling up to your higher self yeah so uh, being the brave soul being the articulate person being the the one that instigates the change yeah so i think you're going to have to speak to someone about this and get it changed 
cut through the waffle and you go, well, I was doing it because and I thought it would be good for the business. And you go, no, no, no. This is how we're going to change it. Everyone goes, wow, super cool. Yeah, literally super cool. Working together now gets us the reward that we all want. So yeah, work together for, for the greater good. And I think you're in for a fantastic week. Virgo, it's always a pleasure to read for you. Really interesting and exciting reads when I do them for you. Have a great week and I will see you next Wednesday. Take care.